guys and welcome back to another brand new video for you today so don't mind the look um i am actually about ready to go out um but me and a few friends wanted to have a picnic and it's like 54 degrees and like windy today so hence why i had the hat on i'm gonna be laughing at myself a few months from now being like 54 degrees girl <laughs> what i would kill to have that again <laughs> anyway i don't know i feel like i don't know it gives my hair my head a weird shape i always feel like whenever i don't have curls and i have a beanie on i just feel like it looks sad but i wasn't about to curl my hair today what a great segue the reason for this video that i have brought to you today i am going to attempt something that is a very normal healthy thing to do but i just put it off like you've never seen and i wish i was better about this but meal planning, meal prepping for one. Um, I'm not gonna necessarily, my theme for this week is gonna be mostly meal planning. As we all know, life gets crazy and I prioritize other things in my life than meal prepping, meal planning, just because I'm like, I put other stuff like work, social life, church, family, I put those above <laughs> some of the other mundane tasks that we we have to deal with on a regular basis and i think it's i was talking with my brother i think i just i feel overwhelmed when i'm dealing with all this other stuff that i make more of a priority and then coming home like i just it overwhelms me to think about doing something like that um it's very good i know it's it's healthy to do that that way you're less less apt to go out to eat um, and spend money where you don't need to. So I know it's more cost effective. It's better to do that, it's healthier. Um, so like, I'm going to attempt something this month, or the uh, month, this week. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a week. Um, you know, cause baby steps, you start off small. So I'm giving myself this week and hopefully it goes well. I'm gonna be really busy today, today's Sunday. So today would be the ideal day to meal prep. Um, I didn't get a chance to go to the store, so I just have some ideas of like what I want during the week and we are going to go from there. But, uh, let me know if this is something else that you guys struggle with as well, because it's just, it seems like such an easy thing to do. And I am a planner. I like to plan things out, but when it comes to just like these normal, ordinary, normal day things, um, it's just, it, it overwhelms me. So uh, we're going to attempt to do this and hopefully, I don't know, maybe I'll learn something from this. I'll probably learn that, yeah, I like actually having my meals planned out. That way I don't have to think about what I'm doing. But this week is a little bit, last week was crazy. Last week I had an early morning every single day, like had to get at work at like six o'clock, 6.30 in the morning. And it's just a lot. It, it, it took a toll on my body because now I'm kind of dealing with like sinus stuff and I don't know if it's just the weather mixed with just being tired dealing with that and then just like busy schedule so this week I was like this this will be a good way to to enter the week um and I want to do it before October ends otherwise like I've failed this month in doing something hard yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> that sounds really pathetic when I put it that way. But anyway, I will bring you guys along with me and hopefully uh, we learn something from this. So obviously you can tell I'm in a different place. It has been a couple of days. I would say yesterday it was going to be leftover day. So me and my brother have a tendency to neglect our leftovers that we have in the fridge. So I was just like, you know what, dude? I said, let's just make sure that we just try to finish a lot of this stuff, which we did. Thank goodness. I mean, we had leftover tuna casserole. We had, uh, what was it? Chicken pot pie that I pretty much, you know, gorged on all day. And so that's, that's kind of what we did for that day. Um, but I just got back. I had a meeting with my dietitian that I started seeing, which has been so great. Um, it's just been very helpful talking about just my body and problems and issues that I'm having, you know, things that just need to be, you know, taken care of. <laughs> um, so it's, that's been really great. It was my second meeting with her. Um, and then I went to the grocery store afterwards to get some stuff for the week. I went to Sam's club, um, which I scored this like super adorable hoodie. So it was, it was worth the trip to Sam's club. And I got a couple of other things at Sam's club that I already knew that I needed going in there. Um, and so that made it better. But anyway, I'm kind of like 
planning out mostly like my lunches and breakfasts are usually pretty good because I pretty much just eat eggs or granola bar or yogurt like Greek yogurt um, in the morning and then I have like a sandwich or something in the afternoon it kind of just depends on if we have leftovers I'll eat leftovers if not you know I'll find something like tuna or something <laughs> that being said I kind of planned out I figured I'm like me and Thatcher could probably have like pork loin tonight so I got some pork loin my mom has a phenomenal recipe that is absolutely delicious it's like a pork loin roast and there's like this brown sugar maple glaze that goes on it it's so good it is it is the best and with that I'm gonna roast some uh, potatoes and I'm gonna have some veggies with it too so it should be a pretty pretty hearty meal um, so I'm excited to make that I'll probably show you you know I, I guess th that process of making that um, but yeah like I mostly just got stuff for the week that I know I could eat for like snacks um, like bananas, apples. Um, I was gonna get some carrots and then I forgot. Cause carrots are just one of those easy, hearty snacks that I can just eat with some ranch and like, I'm good. I also have nuts and dark chocolate. Excuse me. I have nuts and dark chocolate. Um, because like that's, if I'm craving something sweet, that usually does a good job of like satisfying that craving. If I have some like dark chocolate along with the nuts because I can't just eat nuts I don't know if anyone else is like that but like it's just hard for me to just eat nuts plain without anything with them it's just that's not enjoyable for me but anyway so I have that planned and then um we will see I'm trying to figure out what we want to do for tomorrow tomorrow we might just do some pizza or we might do something else we are going to be gone this weekend gone like we have stuff planned this weekend, put it that way. I'm not going out of town, uh, but like we have a bonfire thing with friends that we're going to Friday evening. And then we have a sibling uh, event day thingy that we've had planned for a bit that we're going to on Saturday. So like both of those meals will be taken care of, which is, I guess, kind of nice. Um, and I'm just going to expect like maybe Sunday will just be like leftover day again and then we'll start a new week. Um, and depending on what we we have for the rest of the day, I'm thinking Thatcher offered to make something this week. So um, I may give him Thursday to make something if he wants to make something. And then we'll, we'll kind of go from there. But that's kind of the, the, the gist of what I got going on right now. Okay, before you say anything, yes, this is a filter because my face does not look the greatest today. So we're using a filter uh, because I'm all about showing my authentic self. Anyway, I forgot to show you guys uh, me making dinner last night. Surprise, I'm just, I'm a hot mess. Um, I will go ahead and show you. This was, this is what we had to work with. Again, don't mind the filter. It makes everything look really, really orange. Um, but I have like pork loin, uh, a brown sugar maple glaze, and then I've been eating some of the veggies to go along with it. That I also have roasted potatoes heating up, or reheating, I should say, in the air fryer. So I'm gonna eat some of those. And so we're just having leftovers tonight, which is a Wednesday, so it made sense to have leftovers because we had a lot of leftovers. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen again. I just thought I would kind of go over some like just easy things that I got. I went to Sam's Club and I usually get their individually packed yogurt, um, but this time I decided to try something a little bit cheaper and a little bit different. And it's just the Chobani Greek yogurt vanilla. This is the granola that I've been getting at Aldi's lately. Um, there's whole grain. I don't even know if that's really true, but it says it on the bag. Um, but it's just, it's delicious. I just add a little bit of that on there and like easy protein filled breakfast. Again, I try to pair it with something else because it's like, I think, what, how many grams of protein? 14 grams of pro protein in three fourths cup. And that's about what I eat. So that's actually really delicious. It has a good flavor with it. I usually like you know, like strawberry or mixed berry, but this is a great alternative. And I think it was only like five bucks for this big tube. Um, and it's been lasting us for at least a whole week, so that's been good. Next, I'll move on to kind of like my snacks. I usually just get this, again, also from Aldi's. This is just the mixed nut brand. Because Aldi's, you can't just buy like seasoned almonds or pecans without spending like a, a huge amount of money like 15 bucks for a thing of almonds and I just cannot bring myself to do that so this is a great alternative and this also has pecans in it and I love pecans so 
great purchase. The only thing that's in it that I don't like is hazelnuts, which is not my preferred nut. I don't really care for hazelnuts. Hazelnut spread, that is a different story. And the next kind of snacky thing is this another again string cheese that I get from Aldi's, just mozzarella cheese, just an easy snack. I usually pair that with like an apple or something. I also have uh, carrots, which are in, you can't really see them very well right now. It's just like in a bag, that's how I store them. For some reason, I don't know if there's like water or something in this, but every time I take it out of the fridge, it's like frozen solid, so I'm gonna let those set out for a little bit. And then, you know, just apples. These apples are okay. I got them from Sam's because they were cheap. They're like a $5 huge bag, uh, but they're gala apples. And then, you know, my bananas that I just got, but they are turning black. So I might put those in the freezer and save them for like banana bread or something like that. Um, I've also been taking magnesium lately. This is the kind that I've been taking. Um, I think it's 200 milligrams. I've been taking two of these at night, um, which have been great. I feel like I've been seeing some progress with them. Like, I feel like they've been helping me a lot. Um, in regards, like some nights are better than others, but I upped the dosage and that seems to, to be helping. The next little item that I add to my nuts, if I'm wanting some like little bit of sweetness with it, is just these dark chocolate chips that I get from all these. Yes, I know they're not the most like healthy choice, but um, I allow it because it's dark chocolate. It's better than milk chocolate or white chocolate. And they're, it, you know, a little bit goes a long way. So I have been loving it. I'm actually getting ready to make myself some lunch um, to look forward to after I get back from my workout. So uh, I think it'll probably be a PB and J today with some carrots and, you know, be good. So that's just kind of like a little haul that I have. Um, kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, what a typical <laughs> Molly grocery run um, that it is that I get. I don't know why my countertops got stuff on it. These are another item that I get. Sam's Club had these and I was so excited. They usually don't have the, the breakfast bars because these are specifically like the protein bars, which are incredible and they have the almond butter that is like the best kind to get in my opinion the chocolate's good too but it's not as good as this like if you heat this up in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds oh my gosh that is like great to have like in the morning with your coffee and just like an easy quick breakfast i love these i also got this from all these it's um a little like play on the kodiak cakes which i actually really like but this is okay, it's not great. It has about the same amount of protein, um, but it has like, it has oats in it, which I normally like oats, but it just, I don't know, something about the texture that it has, I just, it's fine, I but I don't find myself wanting to eat it very much. <laughs> That's kind of my grocery haul. Um, not very exciting, but kind of gives you an idea of what I shop for on the regular, just to kind of get, you know, the best nutrients in that I need and you might be like wow Molly that's like no food at all but to me it, it, it adds up but <laughs> anyway um let me know if you've gotten any of these products together kind of what's your typical grocery haul okay not the best angle but I need to finish out this video and this was the perfect opportunity to do so <laughs> that's a little better that's kind of like the dealio with this video I tried to figure out more things to film, but it just didn't seem like I had that much to film to kind of show you guys that would be remotely interesting. But this is like, it, it, in last week was like kind of an odd week too, because I've literally been going nonstop everywhere. <laughs> so um, there's been a lot of nights that I've either gone and had dinner with someone or I've had dinner provided. And so like, I really haven't had to worry much about like my meals except for like lunchtime, breakfast time. Those are pretty much my main meals I eat at home. So with that being said, it didn't require a whole lot of planning that week. It's still very helpful to kind of go shopping and kind of put together a plan of like, okay, what we're, what are we going to eat this week? What's something that we like to eat? I also like variety in my routine as well as far as like what I eat what I do during the day I just like to do I'd like to change things up so um I have like a few meals to kind of pick from um that I've written down that I'm like these are easy these are healthy these are tasty um and just like great meals to get like multiple meals out of them 
So that was kind of the dealio with that. You got to see a little bit of my grocery haul, what I kind of get on a weekly basis now. Um, before it used to be a lot other stuff. I also eat a lot of spinach and like, you know, romaine, lettuce, all that kind of stuff like that. It just goes bad really quickly, so I have to eat it super fast. Um, and sometimes I don't, and then I just feel like I've just wasted a whole bunch of lettuce. <laughs> Anymore, I just feel like produce just goes really, really bad, which is why I want to have my own garden someday so I can like just go outside and just pick what I want to eat. We're not there yet. <laughs> One of these days, hopefully I can get a, a good garden going. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on that just, you know, a day in the life almost of what it's like to attempt a good meal prep for the week. Um, nothing super exciting, but I hope you got something out of this. Let me know if you do any kind of meal prepping for the week or if you have any helpful tips for me. I would love to hear it. So anyway, guys, you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.